Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the program status register and the R mode. As in the previous lecture, we have discussed a little about SPSR and the CPSR, but here I am going to take it to the further and I am going to explain you what are the condition flags and what is the processor modes and what is the thumb state and the interrupt mask. So this is status register is divided into the two part. So the first part is the CPSR, that's the program, current program status register and the another one is the SPSR. When processor is running, then it saved and updates the status of register into a CPSR register set. And when it jumps or changes a mode from one mode to the another mode, then it saves this current program status register into SPSR and as you might have noticed here is that so this is a flag bit and here these these are the reserved bits okay and this SPSR and the CPSR is a 32 bit register set and uh, this is 31th bit 30th bit 29th and 28th bit and here we have mode, the mode goes from 0 to 4 and then we have a fifth digit that is actually the sixth digit that says whether processor is running into the thumb mode or not and then it has a seventh digit and then finally eighth digit. Eighth digit tells that whether processor is running into interrupt mask or not this 6 and 8 actually right so this 4 five, 6 and uh, this is 7 actually right so the 6 and the 7 tells the processor what is the interrupt mask and the interrupt mode of the processor right so what we can say in general we can say this is divided into 8 bit and then 8 bit and then 8 bit and then finally this 8 bit 0 to 7 so this 8 bit so this 8 bit is known as a control okay for to control and then another one is the extension and then here it has a status and here it has a flags right great so this is all about this program status registers and the bit when microcontroller perform uh, when microcontroller performs uh, ALU operation it updates these flag register according to the ALU operation if ALU operation result produces carry it makes this one if result is 0 then it raises this flag z high that's the one if overflow occurs then this raises this flag v equal to the one and if result is negative in signed operation then it raises this negative flag equal to one and finally these first five bits decided what is the mode of the processor so now let's discuss about more about the mode of the processor. As into the previous lecture, we had discussed that our microcontroller have seven type of modes. Okay, and these modes are first one is of course which we uh, discussed earlier that is user mode okay so uh, what we need to discuss here those seven type of user mode then it is divided into the two more parts that's the six mode uh, actually that is not like that then th this is divided into two further 
uh, mode which is known as a privilege mode and non privilege mode okay so the first one is let's say non privilege mode non privileged mode and the another one is privileged mode so this non privileged mode have only one modes and this privileged mode have a six modes so let's first discuss about this non privileged mode non privileged mode has a user mode and then this privilege modes have six more modes and those modes are abort mode then we have a fast mode uh, which is known as a fast uh, interrupt request mode interrupt request mode and then we have uh, another mode which is known as a normal interrupt mode or we can say interrupt request then it has a fourth mode which is known as a supervisor mode supervisor mode then it has a fifth mode which is known as a system mode then finally it has a seventh mode which is known as undefined mode right so the first mode second third four five six and here are the seventh mode processor enters into the abort mode when there is a failed attempt to access a memory okay and fast interrupt request and interrupt request modes corresponds to the two interrupt levels available on to arm processor so these are the two modes and then the supervisor mode is the mode that the processor is in after reset and is generally this mode that an operating system kernel operates in that's when this modes comes just after the reset and the kernel of the operating system works into a supervisor mode and the system mode is a special version of a user mode that allows full read and write access to the cpsr that's mean here full read and write to cpsr that's the current program um, status register cpsr and then we have finally undefined mode undefined mode is used when the processor encounters an instruction that is undefined or not supported by the implementation okay undefined instruction and here uh, about its invalid memory access okay and this one is interrupt request and here this mode is known as a program and application mode okay so in general user uses this user mode great now we have our seven type of modes and in the previous tutorial we had discussed register sets now all these seven type of modes have a different visibility to the registers and uh, we are going to here discuss those register sets visibility 
so once we encounter once we take this uh, register mode into the count then we get total 37 registers then we get total 37 register set and this 37 register set comes from all 7 modes to understand this we need to first draw our all the usual mode register set ok so the first we need to discuss here this the first one is the user and the system okay so which goes from R0 to, to totally R15 and then it has extra CPSR that's the current program status register right and then it is divided here into the two part the low register sets and the high register set low reg set and then it has a high reg set so the low reg set goes from R0 to R7 and then high reg set goes from R8 to R15 then other registers other, other modes of the processor let's divide this into the half and then another mode which comes let's say just after this then it has another bank which is known as a fast interrupt request register bank we can say the FIQ fast interrupt request uh, register mode then it has another set of registers which varies from R8 R9 to total R15 and then it has extra registers that is known as SPSR and then finally we have another registers uh, another bank of registers which has only two different registers and those registers are R13 and R14 uh, one more thing here I would like to uh, make a point here is that in this FIQ it has only up to R14 it do not have R15 here in the same way this another register set another register set which is known as an interrupt request this has only R13 and R14 different registers and of course it has another register set known as SPSR and in the same way for supervisory mode it has different R13 and the R14 and in the same way it has SPSR and this is known as a supervisor mode and in the same way we have two another uh, modes the another one is undefined in the undefined mode we have R13 and the R14 which is different register set as comparison to the previous modes and this in the same way we have here SPSR ok and then finally we have here abort mode In abort mode, we have R13 and R14. 
and then we have here SPSR abort mode okay so the total if you count here we have a two mode here the one I mean two three and then here is the four five six and the seven modes total so if you count total register set so in this we have a 17 register sets and here we have eight um, we have a seven and eight registers total and we have here three registers here we have a three and here we have a three and here we have a three so just add these register sets okay three plus three six nine and the twelve and here this becomes twenty and the seventeen so total here it becomes 37 registers so what we can say we can say arm have total 37 registers but at one time maximum 18 registers are visible to the programmer and those 18 registers are R0 to R15 and plus CPSR and SPSR right I am sure this tutorial would have been very helpful to you to understand ARM's instruction set ARM instructions uh, uh, ARM modes and uh, register set and the program status registers so thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe this channel and uh, Bye-bye.